What is up guys, welcome back yet again to another video. Um, first of all, I just want to thank you guys for the support you guys have been giving me in my videos. I've been really liking what I've been doing so far, so hopefully we can keep that going. Guys, these lineups are dropping left and right. I have no idea. Like, I don't know what to feel. I don't know what to say. This video is going to be a little bit shorter. We're going to be doing like a rapid fire lineup reaction. I have three different music festivals that have announced lineups for 2021. And I'm going to be doing basically a reaction. I have the screenshots, but I have not seen. So we're going to basically be reacting to all three of them right now. These festivals are a bit varied. Some of them are more EDM centered and others are like multi-genre, like the ones I've been doing before. And by the way, if you haven't checked out the other videos of the lineups and information of music festivals I've done, make sure to check those out on my channel. So the first lineup I'm going to be reacting to today is Electric Sue. Electric Sue is definitely more EDM based, so we're gonna be reacting to that right now. So it is set for September 3rd, 4th, and 5th in 2021, and it takes place in New York City. It's a three day festival, it's in the everyday weekend, like I said, and it's in Randall's Island Park. So for Friday, we got people like Alesso, we got people like Bruno Martini, Kali Fisher, Joyride, Loud Luxury, Party Pupils, Peekaboo, Seven Lions, Shipwreck, Siptronics, Valentino Khan, Yultron, and Seth's Dead. That alone is already such a fire, like, set of names. And the fact that just that's just in one day. Damn. For day two, Saturday, we have Chris Lorenzo, Clapton, Enzo, John Summit, Cascade, Liquid Stranger, Alice Dream, uh, Raz, Shiba San, Steve Aoki, Tiesto, Veil, vale, Some Boy. Yo, what is going on? This is actually crazy. Like, some of these people are, I really, really, really like. Oh my god. And then for Sunday, we have Adventure Club, Alan Walker. Bruno Ferlin, Carnage, De Oro, Duke Dumont, Dresso, Galantis, Ghastly Back to Back, Eptic, Elenium, Elenium we are seeing in every lineup, literally, Cashmere, Mason Maynard, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Wow, dude, that is such a solid lineup. There's so much variety. There's like a lot of bass artists, more melodic bass. We have some house, some techno, and obviously some mainstream artists as well. So we got a little bit of everything. And I've, I've, I've never heard like really look too into Electric Zoo. I've no, I know what it is, I've heard of it before, but I've never like seen any videos or photos. But based off, based off this lineup, it looks like really good. And you know, I don't know, low key, I feel like it would be a send if things were obviously clear. I think this would be a good festival to attend. For our second rapid fire music festival, we have Hard Summer Music Festival. Uh, this is in the NOS Event Center, which takes place in California. Um, the Hard Summer, I've heard of it before. I haven't looked really into it. I feel like there's a lot of mixed emotions. That's what I've heard from some people. Some people like it, some people don't. So we're gonna see what the lineup is all about. Oh, by the way, and it's July 31st and August 1st, so it's like in the summer. For Saturday, we got Future, Res, Patronata, Arl Grime, Back to Back, Bauer, Don Tolliver, Jowse, Akali, Lil Dirk, A Track, Wax Motif, Virtual Riot, Walker and Royce, mm, Dresso, we got. Hmm. For the rest of the day, I don't really recognize any of these names. But for the top part, there are really, really good artists like Don Tolliver, Raz, obviously. For Sunday, we got DJ Snake, Mala, Dylan Francis, Two Chains, Queso, Ian Dior, Slushy, Joyride, Say My Name, Domber Sky, Mar <laughs> Mario Judah, DJ Scheme, Noizu, Whipped Cream, Nitty Gritty, Vanessa. So from what I'm seeing, this is pretty much um, like all I'm seeing is either EDM or rap. So that's kind of like the pattern that I think is in hard summer. So it's you you're going to see you're going to see either rap or you know any type of EDM artists. I like the combination. I feel like that's a good combination to have in music festivals. 
Um, again, the more of the bottom names I don't really recognize, so that's, you know, it makes me interested as to what uh, genres the other artists are. But from the ones I do recognize, it's relatively solid. I feel like I was more shocked with the Electric Sue lineup, but if you feel like it's gonna be a fun time, go. And finally, we're gonna be reacting to probably the biggest one out of the three, which is Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo is a very, very, very big multi-genre festival, and it is also happening like around Memorial Day week, uh, no, Labor Day weekend, my bad. <laughs> it's also happening around Labor Day weekend, so September 2nd to September 5th, and it is in Tennessee, I believe. Yeah, it's in Tennessee. Um, and yeah, let's just get started. So from Thursday, I don't really recognize many names. I recognize 99 Neighbors and Scary Pool Party. That's pretty much it. For Friday, Foo Fighters, Megan Thee Stallion, Run the Jewels, Janelle Moen. I don't know how you say <laughs> Glass Animals, Young Thug, Jack, Jack Harlow, Nelly, uh, Troy Boy, Orville Peck, Sudden Death, Omar Polo, Lucy. For Saturday, we have Lizzo, Tim and Paula, GEC, Seven Lions, Kevin Gates, Subtronic, Surfaces, JID, Ash Nico, Yaehi, Ekali? Is that Ekali? Yeah. Wooly, Flaming, Flamingosis. And for Sunday, we have Tyler, the Creator, Lana Lil Ray, Lil Baby, Dead Mouth 5. Oh my god, I said Dead Mouth 5. I just read it. I know it's Dead Mouse. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Young the Giant, Brittany Howard. Boombox Cartel, Camp, Oliver Tree, Peekaboo, Alice Dream, Flo Millie, Jamila Woods. Again, I've never really been super into Bonnaroo lineups for some reason. I feel like they bring great headliners, but I just don't really click with the rest of the lineup. And yeah, like I said, I just wanted to do like a rapid fire review slash reaction of these lineups. These festival lineups are coming left and right. I really can't keep up with the pace. There are so many others that, you know, I didn't mention. Out of the out of the three that we just saw, I feel like my favorite one was Electric Sue. Just because I was shocked at the amount of variety, it kind of gave me like an EDC feel in the sense that there's a lot of like mainstream EDM, but there's also like really, really good, um, not so known artists. And then you obviously have like EDM favorites, but not, some that maybe not everyone else is gonna know of. So there's a little bit of everything, and I really, really like the people that were going. So out of the three, my favorite one was Electric Sue. Um, if you guys want me to do more of these, there are many more lineups that have come out that I could like make more videos about and go a little bit more in depth with information and stuff like that, like I have done in the past videos. Those festivals, especially the ones that I've seen, are kind of more EDM electronic based so things like imagine stuff like that so if you guys are interested in that make sure to let me know and i would be happy to make that uh and give you guys that information but yeah i'm just really it just feels really nice seeing all these lineups coming out it feels like 2019 again let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comments and i'll see you guys next time bye